actually did something for once. I know. Too bad it doesn't work against the same. <laughs> Without a hitch. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much for bearing through us with that. Uh, actually, I do. I, I, I hope you had as much fun with that as I did. Uh, yes. That's awesome. That's awesome. And please, seriously, even though it was live, post none of it on YouTube. As, for one thing, because it's, you know, it's it's our, our thing. Not that I suspect you guys or anything, of course. You guys are all random fans. <coughs> but, uh, yeah. you know. Do it again! Do it again! Do it again! There. I like putting... Yeah. Um, questions. I will open the floor to any questions you might have at this point. Yes? Um, are you planning on really adding Donna Troy into any... Oh, jeez. Donna Troy. Yes, well. Donna Troy, yeah. No, I mean, that's something... I'm just waiting for Wonder Woman to get a movie or this... If this David E. Mm -hmm. Kelly show works out or the rumor is, I don't know. I, you know, the more that these characters are in the movies and in the te television, in the media, the more we get to expand on it, because that's always been kind of the foundation of the process, really. She, she's basically only been Wonder Girl than on the TV show, so... Oh, right, right, right. That, that would be a way in, I suppose. Yes, it would. Yes, yes it would. I can see that. Unfortunately, on the TV show, they called her Drusilla, which you could probably add as a stupid idea. Ah, uh, yes. Imagine. That would definitely, yes, I can see that. Drusilla, what are you calling that? Yes. <laughs> that's how they work out. Right. I like that. Uh, yes, sir. Nostalgia mm -hmm. Critic. Yeah. Oh! Um, oh. <laughs> I was frozen today. <laughs> um, a bad credit card. I'll get you later. Um, I wanted to ask. Um, <laughs> I wanted to ask. How come you left out uh, Spilk Spectre and Ozzy Mandeus and with the Watchmen? Oh, right. Um, well, um, it kind of kind of ran out of time. Uh. I was getting closer to Wolverine. Wanted to get into some of the other uh, okay. aspects of that, and uh, it is it is something that I know we've gotten a lot of requests about so Spectre and uh, and because uh, I thought I, I thought I thought they donated the figures to you. Yeah, I, um, those we never got. Oh, you but, didn't? Uh, That's too bad. You know, but uh, but you know, it just uh, you know just time. Still funny time though. Stuff. Well, it's true. It's true. I, I love it. Paul, also, I think kind of like. Before we were done, like the moment passed, and we were already into Wolverine and the rest of the movie trailer parodies that we were doing. Uh, um, yeah, is there anything you wanted to add to that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I could hear. Um, well, the question was just about, uh, you know, just asking why if we could uh, expand it on the Watchmen videos with Ozzyman Dias and uh, Silk Spectre. Okay. okay. So, what did she say? She said she I pretty much answered it. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, which I don't hear very often. <laughs> um, yes, with the chainsaw. I'm so glad I could say Are we ever going to see Cable? Because he got Deadpool. Woo! Cable, yes. Oh. Well, we do have Deadpool, and what is Deadpool without Cable and so Yeah. He's still Deadpool. So. Um, yeah, no, I mean, Cable is definitely something we'd like to introduce. He would be a tricky one to introduce into a movie, or at least he could be, because then you got mutants, and then you add in the time travel and the, all that stuff on top of it. But I mean, I I mean, I love the character, and I, I, and his his interplay with Deadpool is such a great combo that I it is something I'd like to expand. At some point, I mean, like I said, we kind of go off of some of the movie translations and reflecting on that, um, but uh, you know. Maybe in some of the hour series he might show up. Because there's, we do tend to go more comic centric with those sometimes. Yes, sir. Your next Mac and uh, PC showdown for next year will be Thor and Green Lantern. Hmm. Well, Marvel far be it for me to tell tales out of school, I suppose, but uh, I think that would be a pretty safe bet. I mean, I mean, we'll be hitting, we'll be hitting all of them. Just as much. I mean, I, I can't, you know, tell you for sure what we're gonna do. Um, some we know, some we don't know, but yeah, it will involve, will involve Thor and Cap and GL and everyone, everyone. It's going to be a great Green Hornet, summer, which is much better than this past summer as far as, um, nah, as, far as actual work. comic book movies in the theater. Oh. Um, actually, yeah, yes, sir. Uh, you're a really great writer. Thank you. Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> Pretty much, this has been this has been consuming everything. Right now, I, I, I wish I had time to write anything else, but it's uh, but this is all this is just a ton of fun. And, um, if anyone asked me to turn in a manuscript, I'm sure I could. If there was any uh, <laughs> publishing, no, um, yeah, I uh, it would be uh, I, uh, you know, I mean, not much. Nothing that, uh, I don't have like a pile of scripts in my, you know, in like a drawer somewhere just kind of waiting to, or anything like that. This is, this is kind of something I kind of stumbled into in some ways and just kind of happily discovered. And, uh, and uh, again, so grateful to have everyone be so encouraging. Uh, it's really, you know, challenged me and made me want to be better as, uh, as I go along and try to live up to it. Whatever you all think of it. So it's like, you know, um, but yeah, yeah, not not much. Um, yes? Um, most of the characters in your role play immediately are very close to the uh, comic book personalities. Except um, Green Goblin, who in the comics is like a very threatening big villain. And here he's more of a comic relief goofball character. I'm wondering like where that happened. Like, um, did you plan for that or did that just like so yeah, that kind of that kind of sprouted up organically. Goblin is like the one exception to our big number one rule, which is we try to be as true to the characters as we can. Every character being, you know, as true to them as possible, and just being, uh, um, <laughs> you know, but, but still aware of their movies yeah. <laughs> and uh, and that they are fictional. But, um, but yeah, Goblin. Well, we started with the one him and Lex Luthor, um, and he just was so much fun to write, and fun to write in this persona, and it just kind of happened, really. And we just next thing we knew, we were just he was just this outlandish personality that was bore eventually bore very little resemblance to the Norman Osborn of the comics, or even in the first Spider-Man movie in many ways. But um, you know, everyone seemed to like it and just kind of go with it. So we were kind of like. Okay, that'll be the one exception to the rule. Um, also, also, yes. Um, if I can ask, when do we get more goblin body? Goblin body. <laughs> you guys want to see more goblin body? <laughs> what's up with Gobby? <laughs> yes, you'll find what's up with Gobby soon. Yes, we, there will be more goblin body. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. They are. There will be more. Yes. Absolutely, I would consider. I mean, we did. Uh, I was the voice of Batman in a video for the Fine Brothers, and uh, and I, uh, I'd be happy to collab with uh, you know uh, some of the some of the other ones. It's just it's just very difficult. The reason why we haven't and oftentimes don't is that you know it's the action figure thing. The action figures are what we're known for, and oftentimes they're live action personalities um, that are that are there. So it's kind of it's difficult to mesh. And it's, I mean, we're not known for our faces, so we can go up there and be like, "Who's that?" You know, I mean, well, random only, guy. Only you guys would know. Yeah. Well, technically. I, mean, I don't know. It's just some random guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that couldn't work better if you planned.